Man, I love me some dumbbells. The versatility is hard to beat, but my goodness, it can be tough to find the right amount of space for a full set. So thankfully, we do have adjustable dumbbells nowadays that can take the place of a full set. Now, I think we all know how traditional adjustable dumbbells work, you know, sliding plates on and off and securing them down with a weight collar. Now, some companies definitely still make adjustable dumbbells like that, but the Bowflex Select Tech 552s and the Nuo Bells both feature an innovative design that makes adjusting the weight as easy as one, two, three. That way you can just grab your weight and get right to your workout. Yo, what's up everybody? It's Jake back in the Barbin Garage Gym with another comparison review for y'all today. This time, I'm gonna be comparing the Bowflex Select Tech 552s and the Nuo Bells, and I'm gonna help you decide which ones need to be in your home gym. But before I get going with all of that, I gotta let you know, we've reviewed a lot of adjustable dumbbells on barbend.com. So if you wanna browse our best list, just go ahead and search Barbend Best Adjustable Dumbbells, and you can find out for yourself which ones that we like the best. All right, so let's talk about the similarities with these two adjustable dumbbells. First and foremost, they replace at least 15 individual pairs of dumbbells at a much cheaper price tag, and they only require a fraction of the footprint. So anybody living in an apartment or you're just tight on space in general, you can't go wrong with either one of these options. They both feature a cradle that comes with your purchase. That way you can store your dumbbells and the plates that you aren't using for your workout. And adjusting the weight is a super simple process with both of these adjustable dumbbells. So no more having to slide plates on and off and securing them down with a weight collar. Just simply give a twist, get straight to your workout. Okay, so there's actually a lot more differences between these two adjustable dumbbells than there are similarities. Let's kick this off with the build of each. So Bowflex is using a lot of plastic here with the 552s, minus a couple of features such as the handle, while the Nuo Bells are mostly made of steel, except for you do have a little bit of plastic here just to hold the heads of the dumbbell to the handle. Speaking of handles, the Nuo Bells have a fully knurled handle that does have a uniform design. It's also how you're gonna be adjusting the weight. So to do that, all you have to do is twist the handle while with the 552s, they do in fact have an ergonomic design with the handle. So it's thicker in the middle than it is on the ends. It does feature a rubber grip in the middle, which might, you know, might not be the best grip for everybody. It has, it's been totally fine for me. That's obviously a personal preference. And to adjust the weight with the 552s, you're gonna twist these knobs on either end to get the right weight you want when you go to work out. So when it comes to the max weight with the Nuo Bells, you actually have two different options. You go from five to 50 pounds or five to 80 like we have right here. And with the 552s, you're maxing out at 52 and a half pounds. Now when it comes to the increments, 552s actually have some two and a half pound increments for you to work with. It's actually pretty cool. It's actually really helpful when it comes to working out with dumbbells. And with the Nuo Bells, you're stuck with five pound increments all the way throughout. And while it may look like the Nuo Bells are bigger sitting right here in front of me, when you're working out, the size of the Nuo Bells is actually gonna change and it kind of feels like a traditional dumbbell while with the 552s, they definitely feel longer in my opinion. And the size of these is not gonna change. Whether you're using five pounds or 52 and a half pounds, it's gonna be the same length regardless. And when it comes to price, the 552s are significantly cheaper. All right, so let's compare the pricing now with both of these adjustable dumbbells. The 552s are gonna run you around 470 bucks, and that's including shipping and taxes. Now, with the Nuo Bells, once again, you have two different options. So the five to 50 pound bells are a shade under 600 bucks, while the five to 80s that I have right here are about $750. Now, this plastic cradle is included with your purchase with the Nuo Bells. But if you want, you can opt in for a beefier steel one if you choose to. The gray one's gonna be around 185 bucks, while the black one's gonna be about $195. And plus you have to tack on shipping, which is an additional $100. Now it's no secret that the Nuo Bells are gonna cost you a lot more money than the 552s are, especially if you go for that five to 80 pound set that we have right here. So if you're on a pretty tight budget or you know maybe you just don't need 80 pounds of weight, I think you're definitely gonna be better off going with the 552s, 
but because of the amount of plastic that's mixed in with these adjustable dumbbells, it might be better to go for the newer belts for some people because of the amount of steel that's used because they might last you longer. Okay, so let's talk about the build and some of the features you're gonna find with both of these adjustable dumbbells. But I wanna start with the 552s. Once again, you do have an ergonomically shaped handle, so it's thicker in the middle than it is on the ends closest to the heads of the dumbbell. Now, I don't know the exact handle diameter, but comparing it to your average ergonomically shaped handle on dumbbells, it's about 35 millimeters or so. This handle is made from steel. It does feature a rubber grip in the middle of the handle might not provide everybody with that sticky tack grip that they're looking for, but you know, in my opinion, I've had no problem with it while I'm working out. Now, once again, you do have a lot of plastic mixed in right here, other than that handle and really the me mechanism located within the dumbbells right here to adjust the weight. And to do that, all you have to do is simply twist these knobs that are located on either end. And that way you're gonna be able to really select the exact plates that you want. It's super easy to do so and you can simply pull right out and you're gonna be able to grab you know exactly the weight that you need now ours have gotten a lot of usage to say the least out of them so every once in a while you know they will get stuck either in the cradle or just the adjustment mechanism whenever i'm going to change the weight so keep that in mind you know over time the plastic here might wear down a little bit and you might experience some sticking during your workouts. All right, so let's transition to the new bells now. Let's start with the handles here. It's a fully knurled handle. It's about a medium knurling. It also has a chrome plating on it to help you fight against some rust and corrosion over time. I don't know the exact diameter of the handles, but it seems to be right around 30 millimeters when you compare it to other dumbbells out there that do not feature an ergonomic handle. Now, other than the plastic used to hold the handle and the heads together, there's really no plastic used with the actual dumbbells. Now, the cradle still has a good amount of plastic used right here, so you definitely wanna be careful when you go to store your dumbbells. But other than that, it seems to be really durable in my opinion. So to adjust the weight, all you have to do is twist the handle. You can fly through all the available options. And just so you know, you know which weight you're using, there's a little indicator on either side of the handle, as well as indicators showing you, you know, if you twist to the right, you're gonna go up in weight, twist to the left, you're gonna go down in weight. So that's really nice that you always know what weight you're using. And to do that here, I'll just show you a little example right here. Let's put it on 25 pounds and you pull it up. And as you see, I mentioned this earlier, you know, the size of the actual dumbbell is going to be impacted on the weight you're using. So if I were to have this on 80 pounds, I mean, I would obviously have all of these plates right here. So it's gonna be much bigger than it would be with it when it was with 25 pounds like I just had. Now with the 552s, obviously that doesn't matter whether you're using five pounds, 52 and a half pounds, that's gonna be the same length no matter what. All right guys, let's go ahead and do a quick walk around with both of these adjustable dumbbells. But let's start with the 552s. Once again, you know, you do have a good amount of plastic used right here from the plates, really to everything here other than the handle and the adjustment mechanism that's inside the actual dumbbell itself. So let's go ahead and show you once again how to adjust the weight. Super easy, all you have to do is simply twist right here. You'll be able to see exactly you know, which weight you're doing. You wanna do that on both sides or else you know, these are gonna be locked and they're not gonna be able to pull out on you. So when you do that, you'll see you know, it's not selecting all the weights obviously, but the size is the exact same no matter what. So if I had this at 52 and a half pounds, it would still be just as long right here. So that could be a little bit of an issue for some people. It's probably gonna change the motion for some of your workouts, like a bicep curl. You're probably gonna have to you know, adjust accordingly with these dumbbells. You do have a rubber grip right here in the middle and it might not be you know the best thing in the world for every single person out there but i gotta say you know it's totally fine for me my hands sweat a little bit when i'm working out and i think it's totally fine you know but that's personal preference now if we transition to the new bells you know once again you do have fully knurled handle right here and i do get a little bit better of a grip as i'm working out and you might as well now to adjust the weight with these you know you just do a little twist and you're gonna see right here which weight you're using, it's gonna be super easy for you to twist to the right or to the left to get that weight. And when you pull these out, look how much smaller that is. I mean, these are both on 10 pounds right now. So I gotta say, you know, the Nuo Bells definitely feel 
more traditional in a sense of their size because you know they're about what a traditional dumbbell size is and that's obviously not the case with the Bowflex 552s. All right, so which of these adjustable dumbbells do you need to buy? Well, I say it a lot, you know, this really just boils down to personal preference, and that's no different here. These are essentially the same product, but they're not identical, right? So I think it's really important that you weigh the pros and the cons of each, and really focus on the price, the materials used, as well as how much weight you specifically need. So if you wanna save some money, Definitely think the 552s are gonna be your best bet, but remember there's a lot of plastic used here, so you do run the risk of them cracking on you over time. And also over time, you know, there's a good chance that the plastic here is gonna get worn down a little bit, so they'll probably get stuck on you like ours tend to do from time to time. Something you shouldn't really have to worry about too much with the new Ovels because they do in fact feature pretty much all steel. And if you need more than 50 pounds of weight, then you obviously want to snag the new Obels as well, but they're obviously a lot more expensive. And lastly, you know, if you do in fact want the best grip possible, you know, I think this fully knurled handle with the new Obels is just going to get the job done better. Well guys, that's all I have for you today on this comparison between the Bowflex Select Tech 552s and the new Obels. These are both going to be a great option for anybody who's tight on space, but does in fact want some dumbbells to work out with. You know, they're gonna be significantly cheaper than a full set would be. Plus, they require a fraction of the footprint. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope this video was really helpful and that I was able to answer any questions you may have about both of these adjustable dumbbells. As always, stay on the lookout for my next video, but for now, head over to barbend.com and you can read more about this comparison. Just search Barbend Bowflex Adjustable Dumbbells versus Nuovel Adjustable Dumbbells. You can find everything that I talked about here today. I'll catch y'all later.